Hi again guys, Mark Eldon here, creator of Finn's Comic Strip. Uh, today I thought I'd do a quick video on working with layers. And I have just purchased a Wacom 12 uh, inch tablet. So uh, on previous videos you would have seen that I was using um, the light box and paper. And now I rarely use paper, I'm just using that to do the, the rough sketches. So. Uh, Finn's Comic Strip is my web page. Please join that on Facebook and we'll get started. So I'll click into Photoshop. Uh, I want to start a new document. And just one thing here on presets. Um, I have uh, some presets set here based on these settings. So the height, the width of the page, the resolution, uh, whether I want my background to be white or transparent. Uh, and then all you do is save that as a preset under the save, just give it a name. Uh, that'll come up here. So it just, it just makes it a bit quicker for me to select Finn's A4 and bang, I've got my uh, template up there straight away. So here's my template. I'm just going to move over to my, to my Wacom where I can uh, zoom this in a bit. And Okay, what I wanted to show you today is working with layers, and this uh, this is a very um, uh, fun, it's a great tool with Photoshop. Um, you would notice down the bottom right here we have all these different uh, icons. What I want to do, I'm, I'm under the Layers tab. If you don't have that showing on your computer, go to Window and then select Layers. That will bring up this box here. Um, and basically if you click this button here uh, you'll create create a new layer um, and sometimes you want um, two or three layers um, especially if you're doing color work uh, usually I have about four layers that I'm working on so once we have our layers we can right click this layer and go to layer properties I can change this layer name to um, perhaps something like line work and I can give that a color if I want to. So my line work is the red box. Um, layer properties. We'll call this one um, shade. Uh, sorry, base colors. Give that a yellow color. Uh, I'll just do one more shading. And we'll give that one a green color. Uh, this one here we might call, this would be highlights. Okay, Make that violet. Okay, so there we go. I've got all my um, layers set up. And when I click on each layer, I can only draw on that layer. Okay, I won't touch any of these layers. It's just this layer that I'm actually working on. Um, right, so what I want to do is just... Um, draw something really quick so I'll just um, whoops I've had my uh, marquee tool selected uh, my brush size is way too big just check that my shape dynamics is on yes okay so um, what I want to do is just draw something real really fast Seems to be a bit of lag on here because I've got my uh, recording tool on. Okay, so let's just uh, use that as a as a guide. Uh, the quality-wise, I know it's not great, but let's use that as a guide. Um, so what you can see now is I can turn this layer on and off by selecting this eye, and it's not there anymore. Okay. One thing that I can do with this layer now is adjust the opacity of that layer. So if I drop the opacity down of this layer, you can see that he's getting fainter and fainter. Um, so I use this as like a sketch tool where uh, imagine that this piece of work is on uh, the light box and I've now just put a piece of paper over the top of it. You can see that I've got a traceable image. Uh, if I click another layer there, 
because um, eventually I will delete this layer. This would be called line work in the end. Um, if I click on this layer, I can now draw over the top of what I've um, created earlier. Now on my um, tablet, I can hardly see that, so I'm just going to bump it up a bit. There we go. And I need to click back on this new layer that I've created. And you can see now that I can trace over this image and fix up any imperfections that I don't like about um, what I did in the first one. So if I wanted his fin this way a little bit more, um, you can see that I've been, been able to trace that image. So uh, I find working with layers to be a great quick tool, uh, just like using a light box. Um, you can notice now that I can untick this line work and I'll just be left with this image. Um, so that's, that's really handy, being able to do that. Um, I could uh, either hit the dump bin with this layer selected or uh, right click and I can then delete layer once I've finished and then I'm not left with that um, layer in the way. I can rename this layer like I did the others, give it a colour. Not yellow, it's already... Okay, um, and, and uh, then I can continue to work on. Another tool uh, working with layers which is really good uh, is this lock transparency icon button up here. So I'll show you, uh, if I choose a colour, for example red, this should stand out quite well, choose a big brush. Um, okay, I'm working on this layer. You'll notice that, um, if, I, if I turn the background off, oh, you'll notice that when I use this tool, I'm drawing all over the screen. Okay. Um, the button I'm going to show you, this lock transparency button, means whatever colour I have selected I cannot draw anywhere else but the lines that I have here. Okay, so all I can actually use for that colour is the line work that's actually on that transparency. Uh, and this comes in really, really useful when you want to create this type of look where there's no black lines on your image. Um, you can uh, colour in your, your picture on your base colours and shading and highlights, but your line work, uh, rather than going in and having to delete your line work or painting over the top of it, you can colour in your line work the same colour as um, what shading or highlights you have around that area. Um, I tend to go in and use the smudge tool on my base colours around that line just to blend them in, um, but uh, yeah, you can do whatever you want there. But uh, that's a really quick tutorial guys about working with layers um, I just wanted to show you you know the how easy that is and that the comparison to a light box is very very similar um, another uh, probably another lesson to go through would be how to use these layers for shading and coloring uh, and actually merging these layers together you can actually when you finish your document layer flatten image and that will reduce all of these layers into one image. See, discard hidden layers and bang, all of the la all those layers are being reduced to one. Uh, that's important if you want to save it as a JPEG, otherwise it will only let you save it as like a PSD or a PNG, something like that. Um, the other thing that you can do is group your layers. Um, you can highlight two layers, right click. Uh, I, I highlighted those two um, layers by uh, holding control down. Um, why is that not working? There we go. Oh, I can merge just these two layers together. Um, so you can see that, that they've both been relocated into the one layer. Uh, or the other thing you can do is add all of them into groups. That's probably a lesson for another day. Um, but yeah, that's a quick tutorial, guys, on working with layers in Photoshop. Um, if you do get one of these Wacom tablets, highly recommend them. A little bit tricky to get started with, but once you get the hang of them, they're not too bad. Um, uh, I, I really enjoy using it. So, uh, once again, facebook.com forward slash Finns comic. Please join, subscribe, be part of the page. Um, hope to see you there. Thanks, guys.